Hello, welcome back to the Fox Strength and Performance YouTube channel. I'm Taylor Fox, and I'm about to freeze to death. But I'm here in the cold pod, portable, cold submersion uh, device. So I set this up in my garage um, to be able to do cold submersion. I used to work at multiple colleges that had um, whirlpools so I could do cold submersion contrast therapy on the regular I don't do that anymore so I needed to set something up at home I didn't want something as cost uh, a big as, as big of a cost commitment as the cold plunge and I wanted to really make sure that I could like build it into my routine first so I got this and it's been it's been great like I set it up. It's here every morning, every even or whenever I want to do it. Um, when I was working 6 a.m., I get up at like 4:30, get in this for five minutes, wakes you up. I really feel like it would like give me a lot of momentum to like mid late morning, which is great because I would work till 2:30. So like a lot of like drive and push to do things and like be consistent. Um, lately I found I'm on second shift, so I'm kind of like doing it when I get home because the cold does help you sleep. I know like there's a lot of stuff out there now, like the sauna, the portal saunas, like the sauna helps you sleep as well. Um, I feel like you could do either. Um, I've really been big into the cold therapy contrast as well. So if I end up getting like one of those, a sauna thing or a hot tub or something it'd be nice to switch back and forth but i just feel like this is helpful to like kind of ease anxiety um kind of get everything kind of like vasoconstricted so you reduce inflammation but then as you warm back up it's a hyperbolic uh, response to blood flow so you start to get a ton of blood flow in the areas that were that were chilled and now warming back up in it it feels pretty good, and I feel like it helps me relax to get to sleep. Um, I've always said, like, in sports medicine, this is very anecdotal. Like, there isn't a lot of research that, like, points to, like, this marker improved or, like, these recovery statistics are, like, dramatic that we know we should be doing this. But you see stuff like the Stoltman brothers uh, working with Wim Hof, uh other guys, Matt Vincent, not dead yet, using the cold plunge like daily. With the strongman competitors, competitive athletes, different sports, and the LeBron like made his own like custom ice bath, so like he's six eight, he can fit in it. Like so many people use it, like you compete in day one of World Strongest Man, you feel like you get hit by a truck, and then they have an ice bath and like helps them recover and ready for day two. I just see so many people using it and I get so many benefits myself from it that I feel like it's got to be in my daily routine. That That's an important point too, that it's it's got to be within your routine. You can't just be like, I'm going to do an ice bath once or I'm doing 90 days straight of ice baths, but then I don't do anything else to commit my recovery. My sleep sucks, diet sucks. Like You have to have all those things in check as well if you're really looking for this to be a benefit. Um, yeah, so this is kind of my off day. Uh, I'm taking like my finisher from my dynamic effort pressing. This is push-ups, uh, inverted rows, and some ladder raises and just put it on today because I was kind of busy and needed to rush out of the house for a meeting. And it's not super strenuous work and it takes like 10 minutes. So I was like, We'll just do it today to get some recovery and get the blood flowing. And then I hopped in here and, you know, it's initially regretting it each time it's winter. So it stays super cold all the time. Uh, the insulated tub really like keeps the temperature in. If it's summer, I keep blocks of ice and bags of ice in the freezer. And I'll just throw this in before I get in. But Right now, like I don't need to do anything. It's it's literally for sure below fifty degrees and probably below forty five right now. It is 
very much a shock and very cold. Um, and right now I've just been doing it for about five minutes. I will try to do five minutes daily, three to five minutes, depending on how much time I have to jump in and get back out and dry off. And then a couple times a week, 10 to 15 minutes. This might be a little too cold for that, but so I have done 20 and, uh, you know, I kind of have to like maneuver my body to get into this thing. It's not as expansive as, as the, the whirlpool units that I've used in the past, but it gets the job done. Um, so I'll probably be doing some more talks, information about this modality in here. Um, I hope it's kind of like a little bit of different, uh, you know, video content and you guys enjoy it, but let me know what you think about the ice bass. I'll probably write some articles on it and, uh, I hope to see you soon. And there's the timer. So let's get out.